This next video is an editing tutorial and I'm gonna go over using Elastic Audio and Pro Tools. Maybe you know what is time stretching, but we're going to time stretch vocals to make them on time with the session. Before we get into that, click the subscribe button. Let's dive in. Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial about time stretching vocals or using Elastic Audio in Pro Tools. So this song I pulled up was uh, it's actually the same song I used for the mastering EQ tutorial, but the vocals were on, obviously, so I just kind of drug them over a little bit, so just to show this example. So this is the vocal track. Right now, all these vocals are just bust into one track, but that's fine to show this. So right here, where it looks like a little time capsule, that is Elastic Audio. See? Elastic Audio plugin. Click that. For vocals, I like to go with polyphonic. If it's a drum thing, obviously rhythmic, um, monophonic, you know, mono instruments. I guess instruments that don't have chords in them, like like a a bass guitar or something. But polyphonic works for that too. Um, X form is. Yeah, I don't use various speed very often. Uh, X form is uh, is kind of kind of cool as well. It's it's more like uh, not a real time. It just kind of does it and it calculates it. But this is a little quicker with the CPU is to just go with uh, polyphonic. So we're going to go with polyphonic and when you go to analysis this is going to show where the computer thinks like all the peaks are and when you go to warp this is where you can start uh, moving around all those markers that we just saw in analysis now with warp I'm on the grabber tool right now if that's important go to analysis if you hold option you can get rid of some of these you can honestly get rid of all of them. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a good way to do this. So you can highlight under analysis. Make your on make sure you're on analysis. Delete. Okay. Now the computer's not picking up any peaks. You don't have to do it this way. I just think it's a little more helpful. Now you go to warp. Make sure you're on the grabber tool. And Control, control clicking puts uh, a marker in warp wherever you want to move things. So let's let's see here. Let's see what's going on. You came. So I moved them back. That's why the vocals sound slow. You came. So let's get this first. So you want to get at the very beginning of of the word. So there's you came right there. Uh, you could put the grid on eighth notes because that's pretty much what he's singing. Now, if you're in grid mode, you're going to snap to the grid, which is okay, but I, I like to not do that when I'm doing this process because it can be a little extreme. So I hold shift command and then it turns this into this. So basically this is going to go against the grid. Like it, the grid's not going to snap anything. So I'm holding shift command. Okay. You came. So that's a little slow here. So when you got like a whole word like that, an easy thing is to just put the marker at the end. I usually like to place a marker right after it too in dead space so it's not affecting this stuff over here. It's like so we're just editing this right here. You came. Perfect, right? See how that works? Pretty sweet. Again, we can see right here is where it's that syllable supposed to be. Um, yeah, let's try with the grid and see see how it works. So You could see probably add one right there. You came, you came to me at the cool, that works. 
So now at the perfect, you can see all those syllables. Just place them now, and you can get kind of quick with this. So now I can go like that. You came, you came to me at the perfect time. Cool, it's working out. Now, see, see how there's like a T. It's late, but I think the this part of the vocals should be more at that beat. So we're gonna move this back some. This is where we're holding Shift and Command to where the T can can hit right before the beat, but the uh, the rest of it where it's held out, where you see that blob, that should hit right on the beat. You came, you came to me at the perfect time. Now sounds a little unnatural here. At the perfect time. So what we're going to do is, again, see right here, the P in perfect right there is what's sunk up when it really needs to be that blob. So we're going to do this, go against the grid. This is why I don't do things 100% to the grid because it's not exact. The and then bring this back so you can bring them away from the grid, just whatever sounds right. At the perfect time. Sounds better. Now let's drag this. Oh, see how it moved everything? We don't want that. Apple Z. Place one in the dead space. And let's make this time shorter. And still bring these back. It sounds a little unnatural. So sometimes you have to play with this. You only do this if you have to, if the singer's off. Like in this scenario with this song, I didn't have to do this because singer was on you came to me at the perfect time. so yeah that is the gist of it you can go through all your vocals this can be done on instruments as well you can do this on instruments as well bass guitar drums guitars anything like that try it out